in this circuit, there are two resistors, a switch, and an ideal battery. Student K says, when the switch closes, the current in resistor A decreases, because A now has to share the current from the battery with B. Part A1. Which aspects of student K's reasoning, if any, are correct? Explain your answer. Which aspects of K's reasoning, if any, are incorrect? Explain your answer. Part A1. For this kind of question, our answer should include the two parts. One part to specify which aspects of the reasoning are correct. Another part to explain why they are correct. You don't have to write a lot. You just have to make sure to cover these two parts. The correct reasoning is when the switch is closed, A has to share the battery's current with B. Junction rule tells us that resistors in parallel share the total current. When the switch is closed, A and B are in parallel. Part A2. The incorrect reasoning is the current in A decreases because A now has to share the battery's current with B. After the switch is closed, the battery's current is more than that when the switch is open. So A's sharing the battery's current with B does not lead to A now gets less current. You do not have to include this part in your explanation. But when we close the switch, we're adding one more resistor in parallel with A. Because of this 1 over equation for finding equivalent resistance for resistors in parallel, the more R we have in parallel, the bigger the 1 over R equivalent, and therefore the smaller the equivalent resistance. Since V equals to IR, the battery's voltage stays the same, that means that when the equivalent resistance decreases, the current through the battery would uh, increase. So when the switch is closed, the battery's current is more than that when the switch is open. Part B1. Write junction rule and loop rule equations for this circuit after the switch is closed. B2. Which of these equations Support student case reasoning. Explain how the equations provide support. For junction rule, we have the current going into the junction equals to the current coming out of the junction. There are two junctions. We can use either junction. I'll use this junction. This battery pumps the current out of its positive terminal. So the current goes counterclockwise when it gets here, the current splits into two. So the current going into this junction is the current from the battery. The current coming out of this junction is the current going through the two resistors, IA and IB. So when we say resistors in parallel have to share the total current, it is consistent with the junction rule. The loop rule says for any closed loop, the change in electric potential is zero. When the switch is closed, there are three loops in this circuit, the top loop, the bottom loop, and the big loop. All of these three loops, we just have to write loop rule for two of them because the third one is redundant. I'm going to write one loop rule equation for the loop involving the battery and the resistor A, this one, and the one for the loop involving the battery and the resistor B, the big loop. For the lower loop, I'm going to start here and follow the current. First, I go across the battery from the negative terminal to the positive terminal, so the potential should increase by the voltage of the battery. 
and then I'm going to follow the current and go cross the resistor. When I follow the current and go cross the resistor, the potential decreases. The potential decreases by the voltage across the resistor, which is uh, I times R. That will be I A times uh, R A. And then I'm back to the starting point, so the delta V should equal to zero. For the big loop, I'm going to start the same location and uh, follow the current. So again, I'm going to cross the battery from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. So the voltage should increase by the voltage across the battery. And then I'm following the current and go across the resistor. So minus I times R, and that will be the current through B times the R through of the B. And remember, the switch is closed. Otherwise, we would not have a current through here. So this current goes through this part with the switch closed. And then now we're back to the starting point. So the delta V should equal to 0. This equation tells us that the voltage across A, IR, equals to the voltage provided by the battery. And this equation tells us that the voltage across B equals to the voltage across the battery. So when we say resistors in parallel gets the same voltage, it is because of the loop rule. For part B2, we're supposed to answer which of these equations support student case reasoning. If physics laws or rules support student case reasoning, the reasoning must be correct. So let's look at the correct reasoning in part A1. When the switch is closed, A has to share the battery's current with B. So it is the junction rule equation. It tells us that uh, A and B have to share the battery's current. A and B share the battery's current. Now for part C, see if you can fix student case statement and explain your reasoning. When the switch closes, the current in A would stay the same. Then, of course, we have to explain why A gets the same current before and after the switch is closed. Before the switch is closed, B is not connected to the circuit, so the circuit looks like this. So the resistor A gets uh, the entire voltage of the battery. After the switch is closed, the circuit looks like this. A and B are in parallel with each other, and they are also in parallel with this ideal battery. Loop rule tells us that A still gets the same V battery. IR for resistor A equals to the voltage provided by the battery. So the current in the resistor A would stay the same when the switch closes.